Hey guys, welcome to Margin Sage's channel and yet another version of my Yuma Tsukumo theme deck. Um, really excited to bring this one to you guys. Um, again, I've had massive uh, comments on my last one, version 3. Uh, it's now on version 4 and I've got a big surprise for you because um, I've actually, um, thanks to all your sort of interest in the deck, I've splashed out and bought some cards from not only Return of the Duelist, but the next set, Abyss Rising, from Japan. So this deck is fully um, up to date. Um, I've got some Japanese cards in here uh, as well. Obviously, I use it only for fun, um, but this is it's the most up to date version of this deck that I've got at the moment. Um, so I hope you'll like it. Um, I've made a few changes, so so it should be really good. Uh, start off with the standard Archer to Archer, um, a good level three warrior. Uh, this is a new card, um, Bull Blader. Uh, if you guys have seen the the uh, the series, um, when he battles or he, when he battles with a monster, I can um, uh, negate the battle damage for the turn and uh, uh, destroy um, the attacking monster. He still gets destroyed if he attacks a monster that's higher, uh, but basically it's like Catastore. He can he can kill them with an effect. Um, obviously he dies as well, but fantastic level four and a warrior again, which is important for later on. Uh, card card D, um, you know that one does. Um, good draw power, um, works well with Gaga Gardener. Uh, if I draw it, I can keep myself safe for a turn afterwards. Um, or if I'm on the up, or if I got Utopia on the field, uh, I can use it to defend myself um, and draw extra cards with card card D. Uh, full elf. Now this has got a new purpose in the deck, and I'll show you that later on. Uh, well, I may as well tell you now. Basically, um, I can use him, um, obviously, with level 3s. I said last time I used him with level 4s, but I've actually got a level 5 um, XE uh, in my uh, extra deck now. Um, so I use him, uh, summon him, uh, reveal a level 3 in my hand, make him level 5, um, then use Gaga -ga um, Guard uh, Gaga -ga Magician, um, make him level 5, and then overlay into the level 5 um, XE. So very cool. Uh, two Gaga -ga Gardener, um, again combos well with Card Gardi, another Warrior, good defence, uh, an all-round very good card. Um, Gaga -ga Girl I've dropped to one, um, doesn't need more than one, um, still a very good card. Um, again combos well with uh, the next guy, Gaga -ga Magician. Um, again if I if I use uh, Gaga -ga Revenge, which I've now got in this deck, um, to bring this guy out or, or Gaga -ga Girl out, I can... Uh, make them level 5 and uh, XE into the level 5 or even my new level 7 um, XE uh, which I think you guys know what that is uh, Gambara Knight again a warrior level 4 um, not need to say any more than that but another Yuma card um, he's, he's, a, he's a decent defence uh, but mostly he's there because he's a level 4 warrior and this is a theme deck 
uh, Goblin Berg um, very, played very recently with Yuma. Um, it's good to see him being played again. Um, it shows he's still in the later versions of Yuma's deck, so that's good because he's a damn good card. Go Go Giant, very good card. 2,000 uh, attack points and special summons this guy. Go Go Golem, I run two of these because Yuma usually starts a duel again, like I said, using this. Uh, so... Uh, so, you know, again, I want to play like Yuma plays and do that really well. So, Kage to Kage, just the one. Uh, again, I've got a lot of level fours in there, so good special summon material. Rai Rider, um, good to stop uh, big monsters from running over me. Set this guy and stop them in their tracks. Tusuke Knight, um, another decent effect. Another warrior. Good attack points, um, overall very good card, and I can burn my hand quite quickly or set my magics and traps in this deck, and his effect becomes live very quickly. Zubaba Knight, and a new card, Zubaba Buster, Japanese because it's not out in English yet. Um, basically what Zubaba Buster does, and um, when he inflicts battle damage, um, I can destroy uh, a monster on the field, uh, I think with the highest attack, and then, then he, lo he loses... Uh, 800 attack points. Um, so I can kill off one of their monsters, um, say a, a, a weaker monster, deal battle damage, destroy their other high attack point monster, and then he goes down to 1,000. Uh, but it's very good, another level 3 warrior. I'm um, hoping this will come out in English soon. And the last card in my uh, last monster in my monster lineup, I now run ZR Weapon, Unicorn Spear. Um, this will probably be replaced by one of the later ZR Weapons. Um, when it comes out, but this is a very decent card. Uh, negates uh, monster effects when equipped to ZR uh, to chaos numbers, um, and gives them an extra 1,900 attack points, which is very very cool. So that's the monster lineup. Um, it's pretty sweet and it's working very well at the moment. Quite a high monster count, but that's because mostly it relies on um, Xing, and you need to be drawing a lot of monsters for Xing. So uh, magics again. Yuma uses a lot of. Um, attack and defense modifiers. So I've got blustering winds, double or nothing, which works well with Utopia, which gets out very quickly, and ego boost. Um, all three attack and defense modifiers, um, just to plus my monsters, make them really powerful um, to run over bigger bigger threats. Two Gagaga bolt, um, which is enough. Um, so I run one, two, three, four, five Gagaga monsters. Well, six really, but I'll show you that later one later. Two Gaga Revenge, new card, broken, very, very cool. Allows a lot of um, extra plays, XE summoning. Plus, don't forget about the added effect that it gives all the XE monsters on the field, not just the one special summoned by the effect, all of them currently on the field, an extra 300 attack points, which turns um, Utopia from 25 to 2800, which makes a lot of difference. Um, Monster Reborn, Japanese, because you know this is Japanese Yuma deck. Monster Slots. I run at mostly level 4s and 3s. Don't get the effect off as much as often as I want to, but uh, still a decent card and a bit fun to play. New card, one shot wand um, to replace bound wand in this deck. Um, basically, uh, pumps a uh, spellcaster up by 800 attack points. When it destroys a monster by battle, um, I can destroy this card and draw a free card. So, it, as exactly as the name suggests, it's one shot. Um, effect that draws a free card so and pumps them up by a guaranteed 800 without having to use Gaga Magician's effect like Bound Wand did. Um, Wonder Wand, you guys know what that does, and XE Unit. Um, not too many in the Spell and Trap lineup but I don't really need too many Spell and Traps with this deck. Um, so I mean that's that's enough, it's mostly about the monsters. Um, a new um, pretty good card from Return of the Duelist Double impenetrable attack. About time you got some decent traps. Um, this card um, does two things. Um, during the battle phase, um, you can either stop your monster from being destroyed by battle, or you take no battle damage. So whether you've got a monster or not, um, oh, it's destroyed by battle or by card effects. So that's quite good. So um, you can actually attack if you've got this face down, um, and they play mirror force. Um, you can flip that if it's been face down for a turn, obviously. And uh, it can't be destroyed by card effects, so that's quite a nice thing to remember. Um, yeah, about time you've got some decent traps, because I've been running some pretty shoddy traps in this deck before now. Uh, double XE Reborn. Um, very, very good card. 
I would definitely suggest too because you actually summon so much. Um, it's good to go into Utopia early game, then bring it back later game and Chaos Xyz when you've got less than a thousand life points. Xyz Reflect. I've won a few duels with this deck uh, with this card thanks to the eight hundred attack point, uh, uh, eight hundred damage um, effect. Um, good for stopping cards that target my Xyz, which is brilliant. Um, damage Diet, still a damn good card. Um, people don't see it coming, particularly uh, if it's in the grave and using the uh, effect to um, to stop to halve the uh, effect damage. That's quite cool. Copy Knight, a new card uh, in there. Obviously, an old card from the series, uh, but a new card in general uh, works very well with particularly with one of my exes, which I'll show you in a minute. And Battle Break, a new card from um, Abyss Rising. Uh, basically, it destroys um, a monster that attacks and ends the battle phase. Unfortunately, it's got an added uh, disadvantage that if they have a monster in their hand, um, they can reveal it to stop this effect from happening, which is why I only run one. Otherwise, I'd run two um, of those and one impenetrable attack. But uh, it's a decent card, a good, good theme card. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Okay, uh, on to the side deck, I think, next. Um <laughs> Chuck Chuck Archer, I think that's how it's pronounced. Another um, OCG exclusive at the moment. Um, once per turn, you can destroy a magical trap card. Um, he's only got 1200 attack points and 1800 defense, and he's a tribute monster. But not bad for playing against stall decks with. Um, my uh, cards for burn decks, which work really well Damage Mage and um, Achacha Chambra, uh, both have very similar effects. Um, Damage mage um, when it can be spe well they can both be special summoned when you get battle da uh, when you get effect damage. Um, damage mage um, you gain life points equal to the damage that you took, um, and Achacha Chambara deals four hundred damage when it's special summoned. So uh, both all right, both level three. Um, not much to say aside from that, but they're my side cards for burn decks. Um, uh, Grandran um, he can be special summoned. This is my uh, anti exe um, support. Um, for my side deck, he can be special summoned when you've got an XE, uh, when, when your opponent has an XE on the field, um, special summon in attack mode, good level 4, good way for getting out another um, uh, another XE of your own, Cat Combat, Overlay Owl, another anti XE card, uh, Overlay Eater, yet again another overlay, uh, another uh, anti XE card, and these guys, I love these guys, the artwork is just brilliant, 3 Karee Vault, again more anti XE. Um, because it's a lot of what Yuma's deck. Again, I'm trying very hard to make this deck as um, Yuma-based as possible, as well as making it playable, um, to, to use a lot of his tactics. And because Yuma comes up against a lot of people that are uh, XE, um, in my side deck, not in my main deck, because I, I, not everybody XEs all the time, or certainly as much as people in the series, um, but in my side deck, I've got a lot of anti XE support. In case I come up against one of those decks that does XE a lot, I can side these in and uh, hopefully uh, bring myself back. One Stinging Swordsman. Um, again, for stall decks, decks that run a lot of magics and traps um, set, I can I can bring this guy out and return them all back to their hand. Um, also good against Gem Beasts, um, which obviously this is a tier 2 fun deck. Um, I do run to Gen Beast from time to time. And the last card in here for the monster lineup, CR Weapon Phoenix Bow, which I can easily switch out for, a Unicorn Spear, um, or uh, any other card should I need to. Um, other cards, a Traffic Control for Swarm decks, particularly good, you've seen me uh, side this in against the Amazon S Duelist Hero Girl, um, who's very good and who I um, test this deck out a lot against. Um, uh, it's a very good card if you, they swarm a lot. Um, also good against gem beasts. Uh, Commander of Swords, another good uh, magic and trap hate. Fiery Fervor, uh, good against, again, Amazonesses, Dark World. Uh, anything that sort of where they power up their monsters with added um, uh, added effects. Anything uh, when their monster is, is higher than their original attack, you can um, double your own monster attack that's been equipped to. So that's very good. And Gaga Rush is the last card in my side deck um, because uh, if they play a lot of flip effects, um, I can attack with a Gaga monster, negate the negate the effect, and uh, deal damage. So if I, if I see uh, Raikou or something, um, they're playing Light Swans, 
uh, again, he's there on the card art, so uh, yeah, it's, it's a decent, decent sided card. So, so there's that. And now onto the bit that you've all been waiting for, my extra deck. So now, still run three Utopia because um, it's Yuma's key card. Uh, he runs uh, only one, obviously, because he's only got one. But uh, he summons it a lot. I also summon it a lot. It's my key um, XE. Um, followed by this guy, Chaos Numbers, uh, Utopia Ray, another very, very good card. Um, I run two, one because very often um, when this guy's run out of overlay units, I'll Chaos XE, um, but then I keep the second one in case I need to um, in case I need to uh, uh, use it when I've got less than a 1,000 life points to get its effect off. I don't get its effect off that much, but I have been equipping Unicorn Spear and Phoenix Bow to him quite often just to pump his attack points up and run over big monsters, so that's quite good. More numbers cards. Uh, number 11, Big Eye. This can only be got out by my uh, from my deck by using Gaga Magician, Gaga Girl combo. Um, but again, very, very good card. Uh, one of the top number cards at the moment in my uh, in my deck. Another one, one of my personal favourites. Number 12, Crimson, Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja. Um, I put this in because Yuma actually used it in the series very recently and I was really pleased to see him actually summon it. Um... Uh, you can d uh, detach and it can't be destroyed by uh, battle or by card effects until the end of the turn. Again, level 5, you can get it with the Gaga Magician Girl combo. Or you can use this, the guy I was talking about, with Full Elf. Um, you can use Full Elf, uh, make it level 5, and then Gaga Magician, um, bring it back with Gaga Revenge. Um, and uh, make him level 5 and, and you can overlay into this, which I've done quite often. And Crimson Shadow is just amazing. Uh, number 17, Leviathan Dragon, um, another viable card, run a lot of level 3s in this deck, um, good with Copy Knight, um, with Zubaba Knight, Zubaba Buster, um, and other level 3 warriors. Uh, number 34, Terabyte, um, again I run this mostly because um, I can summon it because I run enough level 3s, um, but I run this mostly because Yuma just summoned it. Um, and I want to make this deck very authentic. Um, it'll probably be replaced with more number cards when I get them, um, but not bad. Uh, number 83, Galaxy Queen. Um, this can only be summoned uh, by my 3 Karee Vault. I have done that before. Um, summoned it using uh, uh, 3 Karee Vault after removing Zen Main's um, XE units, then overlaid into this. It's better than leaving the Karee Vault on the field. Um, and he's got a damn good effect, you know, they can't be destroyed and it gives um, piercing damage, so very cool. Um, now onto the new addition to my deck. Um, I've got a uh, new Japanese card out in the next set, um, One-Eyed Skill Gainer, um, made by three level fours. Um, basically, uh, he can um, steal uh, the effect of a monster and the name um, while it's on the field. He can only be used once by detaching an exit unit. Um, very, very cool card. It's got 2,500 attack points and 2,600 defense. Um, quite difficult to get out because you need three level fours. Um, but he's got a decent effect, and at the right time, he can be quite good. Um, so I run one of those. Um, thank you to Gorshu for giving Yuma this card. Uh, Heroic Champion Excalibur. Um, the best way to get this out in this deck is to um, have um, Copy Knight face down. This is the card I was talking about. Use Copy Knight. Um, and then uh, summon Tasuke Knight, uh, Bull Blader, any of the level 4 warriors in my deck. Uh, flip it, overlay, make two level 4 warrior type monsters. And uh, Heroic Champion. And he's brilliant. Really, really good. <clears throat> um, Gunman, um, another uh, Japanese card out in the next set. Uh, he's got 2400 defense. He's got two effects. When he attacks and he's in attack mode, um, my opponent's monster loses 1000 attack points and this guy gains 500. Or when he's in defense mode, I can detach an XC unit to make them lose 800. So he's a good attack or defense um, monster. And he can be brought back with Gaga um, Revenge as well. So that's that's quite cool. Um, obviously all the Gaga support works with him. Uh, Maystroke, um, again, very, very good card. Yuma never actually used him. Um, but he was on the title sequence, so that's cool. Um, and he's got a brilliant effect. He's a standard card. And Tem Tempo, he's the only other... Um, the Jin monster that I run, um, again, good um, anti Zen mains support, anti XE support, um, which fits in the theme of my side deck. So um, that is the uh, the extra deck. Um, overall, very very good deck, really really cool. Um, uh, big shout out to uh, 
people like Hero Girl, um, also to uh, a Canadian friend of mine called uh, Jamie, um, who has helped me to uh, play test this deck as well. Um, big shout out to Dark Magician, who's helped me to play test this using his Yuma deck. Uh, Robert88 is another one, um, obviously eccentric to Luke, my brother. Um, this deck is just doing so well, and uh, I'm really, really pleased with it. So please keep uh, supporting me with this. Um, I do think you know character decks are sort of my my big thing at the moment, um, and I'm really enjoying playing with this. So uh, yeah, do keep supporting me with it, and uh, I'm quite happy to keep spending money on it and 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 bringing you some more videos. Um, so we might have some more games with it later. Um, and until then, this is Margin Sage of Darkness signing out. Thanks, guys.